Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria if you are new here and today I wanted to get into Makeup Monday. So basically what I decided to do was pick up a whole bunch of things from the drugstore and test them out for you. I'm sorry if my voice is really raspy right now but I've been getting over a cold which is why I didn't get to post last week. Everybody in the house was sick and it was just like mayhem. So I'm trying to be as loud as possible but I think that I sound a little muffled. I'm sorry about that. But I was gifted so many things for my mom this Valentine's Day and I was so happy to use them and a lot of them were drugstore friendly. So let me just grab a few. So what I'm basically going to be using is this Profusion Mattes palette. So I've been loving everything Profusion. It was kind of like what kicked me off here on YouTube was my Profusion um, New Year's look so that really got me just back into the groove of things and then I paired it with this hard candy it's like shimmering um, what is this called it's called look pro eyeshadow palette dipped in gold so this is really gorgeous it has really nice um, metallic shades in there I show you a close-up during the video and then the mattes palette there's nothing but mattes except for this VIP color right here which has like a little bit of shimmer and then on my lips, I use the Desi Katie Aftermath lipstick, which is really beautiful. It reminds me of MAC lipsticks um, from the smell and everything like that. So I show you in the video just how to do this entire look. I used um, some old favorites, but I just picked them up and that's the Maybelline Fit Me. Um, as far as foundation, I used the Cl Clinique Beyond Perfecting. So this is pretty much the only thing I believe that is not from the drugstore, but it's gorgeous. And also to my primer, which is the Tatcha one, which you guys have seen before. I also use this e.l.f. Glow Lotion, and this is a really, really nice um, dupe for the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I really like it. I thought it was a pump when you look at it like this, but it's actually like a little squeezy tube. So you get to, you know, work with what you have. I also have two Milani products here and one is the, <clears throat> this is the Beaming Light Hypnotic Lights. It's a highlighter and it's purple, but it actually looks really nice on the skin. So this is a couple of hours later that I'm filming this because I realized, oh my gosh, I forgot to film an intro. So you'll see like the background, there's, <laughs> natural light and the original like the tutorial part and this is hours later so i just wanted to let you know this is hours later and it still looks really nice i also use this um blossom time rose blush really gorgeous i am loving it um i also use this wet and wild what is this eyeshadow palette in earth it has such gorgeous shimmering shades and that's what I have in my inner corner right here. I had to just reapply that because it was kind of fading. Other than that, I believe that you've seen everything else on my channel and I will be doing a short What's Up Wednesday because I just have to rave about a certain product that I use in this tutorial. But other than that, Thank you so much for watching and I will get into the t tutorial now. If you are new here though, Hold up. If you're new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and please turn on the post notification bell so that you get updated whenever I do post. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me to figure out what it is that you guys like to see. So without further ado, make sure you drop a comment so I know that you're here and let's get on with the tutorial. <clears throat> Okay, so we are going in with the Tatcha Silk Base Canvas Primer. And no, this is not part of my outfit. It's just a robe just to protect any like setting powder that might fall. But um, yeah, we're going in with the e.l.f. Glow Lotion. And I'm using that like as a kind of a primer on top of the pore filling primer. So I wanted it just to give me that um, glow that I wanted uh, that kind of you know that shine that I'm, I've been looking for and it has a nice gold base to it so it worked really nicely I would say it's close to the Becca backlight priming filter but not exactly um, and now I'm going in with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation it's supposed to be a concealer and foundation in one and the shade that I'm using is um, 08 or WN46 Golden Neutral. So, 
yeah i like that it has like a doe applicator and it you know it's easy to kind of work the product if you're one of those people that's kind of like grossed out by that um because it's just kind of bacteria going back into your foundation i mean if you're the only one using it i don't think that's there's any problem with it but yeah i decided to go ahead and use a damp beauty blender on one side of my face and then i'm gonna use a blending brush on the other side this is from morphe and i feel like honestly this gave me such a nice finish and it buffed out nicely with the concealer um with the, i'm sorry with the beauty blender and the uh, blending brush so now I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me. It's an oldie, but a goodie. And I really, really love that concealer. I actually forgot how good it was. Um, I feel like I've been using a lot more thicker concealers and it takes a, a while to blend or, you know, it just kind of feels heavy under the eye after a while. But this was so lightweight. I forgot how lightweight it was, but still full coverage. So the formula on this is perfect, honestly. And I got this in the shade Sand. And yeah, I just kind of blended it out. It blended out so nicely. I like forgot that it's so perfect. And now I'm using the ColourPop Setting Powder. I haven't used it since my ColourPop um, video. So I wanted to give it a go. And it honestly worked out so, so nicely. Um, it set my under eye nicely and it kept it in place all day. I didn't have any creasing. So now I'm going in with the All About Mattes from Profusion and then the Dipped in Gold palette from Hard Candy and then also this Earth palette from Wet n Wild. So good. Um, so these are the colors. The mattes are gorgeous and it comes with a blending brush, which is perfect. And now I'm just going to go ahead and use the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. You guys know that I love it to, to prime my lids in order to do my... Um, if you hear the baby <laughs> he's here doing the voiceover too but i love it to prime my lids because it just kind of gets everything away um it hides all of my freckles that are on there any discoloration and it lasts literally all day and it's not so um tough to work with like the mac paint pot um and then i'm just using the ColourPop brow the pre precision brow pencil in black and brown just to do my my brows now I'm just going to go ahead and use that Profusion brush that it came with. And I actually really like it. It's a little bit stiff, but it's really good. And the shade that I'm using is Doll. So I'm just using that as my transition shade, just going in the crease, just buffing it out. And what I did was I used the, Pro Fru the, little <laughs> the Profusion brush, and then I went in with a fluffier Morphe brush, just because I wanted this to get all over the lids and it did a good job of blending out which was which is what i was afraid of i thought it was going to be patchy because usually drugstore mattes are kind of patchy and you have to keep on layering to get that you know shade you want and now i'm going in with um this is serendipity so it's a nice yellow shade and i'm just going ahead and using the profusion brush because i wanted it to be more of a um can like consolidate well, not consolidate but a condensed um in just one area basically is what i'm trying to say but i wanted all of that color to be in that one area right below the crease color that i had just put down and kind of on my lids so it's kind of i'm kind of doing like a little bit of a halo look but uh nothing too perfect where i'm just gonna like cut out the middle or anything like that it's just kind of blending the two colors because they blend out really really beautifully and i was just telling my dog to get out of here because she was messing up my tutorial but yeah now i'm going in with the shade um that was also dynasty oh no this is dynasty now so this is the shade dynasty and it's a nice like orange burnt orange color it just blended everything out so nicely if you're looking for that like what do you call it um the like a sunrise type of look um, then definitely go with the shade range and I'm just gonna go ahead and use that blending brush to just kind of You know blend out any harsh edges, but like I said these mattes blend out so nicely I was so in love with them like this palette is definitely gonna be a go-to and I'm probably gonna use the red shades Next because they're just so beautiful and so pigmented and now all I'm doing is I'm taking a stiffer blending brush and just going in with serendipity in the corners 
Going in now with the dipped in gold from Hard Candy and I'm using the shade Gold Digger and placing it in the middle and this guys, oh my gosh, was beautiful. It just tied the look together. Like I said, it's supposed to be like a, a little um, kind of halo eye but nothing too perfect, something really wearable and yeah, I really like that. There's so many nice shimmer shades there, it's gorgeous. Uh, now I'm just going to go in with the Wet n Wild Earth. I'm just dusting off the powder, but I kind of jump around when I'm doing my makeup, so this is reality. Uh, now I'm going into the highlighter and blush combo, and that's from Milani. And now I'm just, you know, hitting my cheeks. And I really like the way that this blush sat on my cheeks. They were really, it was really, really like a soft pink. So if you're looking for a very girly look, then this would definitely, definitely be your you know, your, your jam. And now I'm going in with that e.l.f. St. Lucia palette. I've been loving that bronzer. I forgot about how good that bronzer is. Literally, I think it's only $5 and you have a beautiful blush and um, bronzer all in one. And I'm using an angled brush to kind of just contour my nose because it's a perfect contour shade for me. And it really just snatches my nose, I love it. So from there, I'm just adding some more blush because it kind of faded away with that bronzer. And like I said, look, it's just so pinky and girly and so cute. And then now I'm just going in with the Illuminating Lights from Milani, and it's like a purple, it's one of those holographic um, kind of shades, but it looks so, so nice. It looks so pretty. And then now I'm just hitting the bottom lashes with Serendipity and Dynasty. And I'm using that Wet n Wild Earth palette. I use that gold shade that's there, that super, super gold yellow shade. And that thing was beaming. And I, didn't, I haven't used any setting spray with this. So as you can see, it's really, really bright and out there. And then I just used the L'Oreal Telescopic Lash. I've used that in the past and I haven't used it in a while. So I just went ahead and used that. And now I'm using Dose of Colors Desi Katie Aftermath with the neutral shade from NYX. It's a lip pencil. And I'm just outlining my lips and filling them in. And I use the, what do you call it? The lip liner just to kind of get, get everything in place. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. Bye.